Okay, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, people. Yeah. How are you tonight? How do you feel this Wednesday? Everybody all right? Yes. Yes? Cool. It's yeah. nice to see you one more time. Blanca, welcome. We have Sandra Guadalupe. Thank you. Welcome. Yes. Evelyn Yesenia, welcome. Rafael Aguilar. Kevin Adrián. Nevi, welcome. We got Rafael. We got Sandra Thanks, Margarita. Teacher. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Who else we have? Melba Patricia. Welcome. Who else we have? Glenda, right? Glenda Guadalupe. Rebecca Vanessa. How is everyone tonight? Night. Evelyn, welcome. Welcome, guys. Let's remember that yesterday we saw about there is and there are. And we saw the cases of existency. What are the two forms of existency? Remember, what are the two forms to express existency? We have there is, there are, and there are, correct? When we use there is, singular, right? And we use there are when you have the plural form. But we didn't watch the video. We're going to watch the video right now. And this one is about there is, there are, and conversation. There aren't any chairs. That's the name of it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled there aren't any chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a bedroom. singular object. So we're going to follow the formula there plus okay. is or isn't yeah. plus a or no plus um, some kind of complement. So in this case we use there, then the no. verb is is. Um, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see. There is. is. We will use the article a. The complement is bed in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. 
there isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, we watched the video there. Any questions? We had the no use questions. of the wrist. No questions? Okay, we have an exercise here then. It says write each sentence a different way, so a different manner. Then practice with the partner. We have an example, number one. Blanca, can you please read it? We have two options to say it. I don't have a table in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Or there's there's no table in the bedroom. Table really good job. Thank you. That's nice. What about number two? So that means you are going to transform two manners. In the first one, you have, I don't have a table in the bedroom. That is one option. It's correct. You are using the verb have to express possession the possession that you have in the bedroom or in a specific area of your house. But to show existency, also you can say there is or there are. In this case, as here it says, I don't have, it's possible to say there's no. It's negative, but you have a singular subject. Let's transform the number two. Nevi, continue please. I have some shares in the kitchen. Good one. This is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Excellent. Okay. Transform using there is or there are. Negative, ¿verdad? Affirmative. También afirmativa la tengo uh -huh. que hacer. Affirmative. But eh, the other manner. Okay. There, is, there are shares in the kitchen. 
That's good. There are chairs or there are some chairs, right? Two possibilities. That's correct. There are some. some. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, that's good. There are some. There are some Una. chairs in the kitchen. Remember, some is only for affirmative. Algunas, exactly. That's correct. So we have affirmative. Tell me. ¿Por qué en algunas, en algunas oraciones hay in, que es en, mm -hmm. y en otras está on, que también es ah. en? ¿Cuándo yes. usarlo? When you have in, is because this one is referring like to an area. Este porque es el área. But when you say on, is because it's like sobre la superficie. On ah. the table, on the window. For example, here, the window. Like is anterior. Right? <laughs> no, but it's normal to confuse because the translation in Spanish, it's the same. But the uh -huh. context is different. Cuando veamos uh -huh. on, es porque es sobre una superficie plana. Uh -huh. sobre el piso, por ejemplo, sobre el escritorio, o sea, no Correcto. se puede decir in the desk, in the Correcto. wall, no, porque no hay como un, algo en que se pueda meter algo, no, ingresar algo, you say on, uh -huh. on the floor, superficie, plana, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and in es porque es un área, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the bathroom, uh -huh. so it's area, place. Si, eh, entonces, si yo quiero decir in the table, no, ¿verdad? Es Incorrect. on the table. Ajá, on, on the, the table. table, porque es sobre, sobre la es mesa. como decimos encima, correcto encima o sobre de algo, it says uh -huh. on, on the table, on the desk, o on the notebook, es espacio, es un lugar, ajá, correcto. es un espacio, eh, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom, uh -huh. es an area, es un área, un lugar, un, un espacio. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. What about number three? Sandra Guadalupe, continue. Number I three. Have, uh -huh. okay. I have a stove in the kitchen. Good. This is affirmative or negative? It's affirmative. Excellent. Okay, go ahead. Transform. <clears throat> the, the, mm, there is a All stove right. in the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. Good. There's a stove in the kitchen. Excellent. You can use like a form of complete. There is, or you can say there's a stove in the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. Very good job, nice. Evelyn, let's yes. continue, Evelyn. Okay, With number teacher. four, please. Okay, I don't have a refrigerator. Nice. Uh, there, there isn't a refrigerator. That's good. That is a form of negative. There isn't no. a refrigerator. We have another option, right? We can also say there's no refrigerator. Two options are correct. Thank you. That's really nice. Good. Rebecca Vanessa, continue with number five. I don't have for things on the window. Mm -hmm. uh, there are curtains in the window. That's good. That's one option. Yes. There aren't curtains. There aren't curtains on the windows. What is the other option? Do you remember that we have a quantifier to put emphasis? Which is that? Any? Um, any. Any. That's perfect. That's only with negatives. This is only to put more emphasis, but it's correct to say only there aren't curtains on the windows or there aren't any curtains on the window. Really good job. Thank you. Let's continue. I don't. Number six. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I don't have any roof any on rocks? the floor. Any rocks? Any roof on the floor. Rocks. 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 Uh -huh. Good one. I don't have any rocks on the floor. Very good. What Negative. The there aren't Yes. Any rock on the floor. That's correct. Good one. There aren't any rocks on the floor. Yeah, that's right. Really good job, guys. That's good. You have a good memory. You practice, <laughs> right? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's continue. Judy, we are going to read them. Read number one, please. Okay. 
We can, we can lose, listen, Judy. Creo que el audio le está fallando, Judy. No le escucha. Bueno, yo no le escucho. No sé si los demás escuchan. Ah, ok. No nos escucha. No, right. Hola, hola. Ah, ok, now, now we can. Ok, good one. Yes. We listen. That's ok. Hoy sí. Yes, Hoy... now we can hear you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> eh, tengo que leer la primera oración. Please. ¿no? Ok. I don't have a table in the espéreme que se me ha puesto un mensajito aquí, ya se me quitó, perdón okay. I don't have a table in the bedroom very good job, thank you Fernando, continue, the other option there's no Fernando, are you there? yes I, there's no table in the bedroom in the bedroom, thank you that's all right. Good one. Alba Marisol, continue with number two, please. I have some chairs in the kitchen. Thank you. Good. Elmer de Nilsson, the other option. Elmer? There are some... Eh, yes, yes. Ah, sí, sí. Eh. There are some. There are some chairs, 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 chairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Very good. Thank you, Sandra Margarita. Number three. I have a stone in the kitchen. Right. Thank you, Kenya Vanessa. The other option. Kenia Vanessa, are you there? No? Evelyn? Yes. Yes. Number four. Yeah, number four, please. Like the second option. There isn't a refrigerator. That's all right. Thank you. Please, number three. Number three. Uh, What's number three? Is this one? Uh, yes. There's a... Uh, <laughs> There's a stove in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Thank you. Glenda, are you present? Glenda Guadalupe? No? Yes. I don't have a refrigerator. 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 That's correct. Thank you. Rafael, continue. The recent? The recent uh, refrigerator. 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 Thank you. That's good. Fernando, continue. Number five. I don't have curtains. Curtains? Curtains on the window. Thank you. That is all right. Let's see. Let's continue. Nevi. There aren't any curtains on curtains? the window. Curtains? Curtains? Curtains on the window. Thank you. Rebecca Flores. Six. I don't have any rugs. Any rugs? Any, any rugs, rugs on the floor. That's good. On the man. floor. Thank you. That's good. Sandra Margarita. The second option. There aren't any rugs on the floor. That's correct. Great. Any questions? No questions? Okay, let's go ahead with our next exercise. All right, so what about this one? The one appears on the platform. It says on A, I have some chairs in the kitchen. What is the correct option there? What will be option B? The other man there to are, say it. There are. Uh huh. There are, there are some, right. There are some chairs there are in some the kitchen. In the kitchen, correct. So we have two options, mm -hmm. right, to use with the verb have to express possession, or also with existency. With yes, have. positive. And it's positive. That is correct. Plural. Mm -hmm. And it's plural, it's that's plural. correct. You see, okay, you know different characteristics. Mm -hmm. It's plural, it's affirmative, right? We can use possession have or 
for existency. There is or there are. Let's move then on our next one. We're going to watch and listen about two different houses. In the ones, you see different characteristics. So let's watch the video here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Two different houses, different characteristics. Let's check here. Now we have the text. I'm going to read it and then we check some characteristics there. A star. It says two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Neros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's loves it. Now, tell me, where does Mrs. Nero's live? Where does she live? In San Antonio, Texas. In San Antonio, Texas. Very good. Okay. Now tell me, what's her occupation? What's her job? She's a writer. Uh, She's a, a writer. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. That's correct. Why is she famous? <clears throat> interesting For stories. Interesting stories. That's good. For her interesting stories. That's good. Now let's describe the house. How is Mrs. Nero's house? <clears throat> what does it have? Has a porch with a pink floor. A porch with a pink floor. That's good. This is the porch, right? Huh? It's like maybe I remember that you asked me last time, what is a porch? It's all this area, right, of the house. Yes, Miss. Exactly, that one. So what are the colors? What is or the color? Green, okay. Green, the rooms are green, green. pink. And green, purple. purple. That's good. It says that there are many books, the colorful paintings, and that her house is very different than the others, right? Her neighbor's houses, they are beige, or probably they are some other simple colors. So those are the, the things that has. Now, let's check about the next reading. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels. 
but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. She has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. So now, who are we talking about? What is her name? Lorraine Nelson. Lorraine Nelson. Nelson. Okay, where does she live? In Arizona. Arizona. She lives Arizona. in Arizona, right? Correct. Now, what is the house? It's a Hogan. It's a Hogan, yes. Uh -huh, correct. It's from Native American, right? From the different tribes. Normally, from the Navajos. Do you remember which are the Navajos? It's a tribe, right? Una tribu, los Navajos. They normally constructed this kind of houses. So they are called Hogans. Hogans, that means chozas. Que a veces son hechas de tierra. Algunas son hechas también, pues, de madera. You can see the door here. Is wooden, the material, and the house, the rest of the house is like ground, which is como de tierra, son chozas. Do you think they are small or big? Small. It's a small, right? Correct. And what about the things that contain? What is the furniture? Does the, the whole thing? Parecen hornos. Exactly. It's like here in El Salvador, right? When you cook or you bake the bread, it's like that. It's like an oven. They look like that. So what are the things, the furniture that it has? The Hogan. It has three chairs. Uh -huh. It has two three chairs. On the floor, two beds on the floor. And a wood burning stove. Wood burning stove. Good. Wood burning stove is a kind of a stove. Pero son en las que cocinan um, con leña. O para mantenerse yeah. calientito. Las pesadillas. Estufa, let's see. Dog ones, ajá, uh -huh. yes. Pero son a leña. Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Podría llamarse como las hornillas, miss. Como las hornillas, ajá, uh -huh. correct. It's like this one, but they use that. Like a... Porque storm, storm es, es estufa, ¿verdad? Cocina. Ajá, uh -huh. es la cocina. Pero como esa en general. especifica que es de que leña. Es como cocina leña. Uh -huh. A leña, ajá, uh -huh. correct. Ajá, uh -huh. es, es como en las que cocinan las quesadillas. That sometimes is that like a metal, que son de metal, all those ones. So they are very different. <clears throat> okay, so they have different characteristics. And as it says, many tourists visit the Hogan and they can stay there. Now, uh, on the platform, you also have it to describe it. Sandra Cisneros house, there is a, how can you complete this? The first one. What are the things that are? A porch. A ah, porch. that's good. There is a porch with a pink floor. Pink floor. So it's very peculiar, very different from the other houses. All right. Now, any question with the reason there are? No questions? No. No? All right. We are going to take some minutes to pass the list. So let me let me know if you are present. Just tell me present. Aaron? Aaron Alberto? Present, Miss. Thank you, Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you, Alba. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you, Elmer Edenilson. Elmer, Elmer Edenilson. Fernando de Jesus. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Evelyn Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you. 
Then we have Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Vanessa. Kenia Vanessa. Kevin Adrián. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kevin. María Emilia. <clears throat> María, María Emilia. Emilia no se iba a conectar, según mandó el mensaje en el WhatsApp, creo, Miss. Mm, ok, thank you. Thank you so much. Ok. Melba Patricia. <coughs> Melba. Rafael Antonio. Present, thank you, Rafael. Nevi. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Nevi. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Rebeca. Sandra Guadalupe. Present. Miss. Thank you. Jacqueline Mar Marioris. Jacqueline. No. Sandra Margarita. Present. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Judy Edith. We got Judy. Yes, I saw Judy there. Okay, let's go on then. Teacher. Tell me. En el caso de que en algún momento, por algo de razón, de fuerza mayor, digamos, no nos podamos conectar, ¿qué tanto nos afecta eso en el, en el, en el resultado o el desempeño final para recibir un diploma? O sea, por lo menos del, del curso que estamos en curso. Como fíjese que ellos les toman como que tiene que tener al menos el 80% de asistencia. ¿Y cuántas faltas son equivale a eso? O sea, porque si de repente, por, o sea, digo que por alguna razón, por fuerza mayor, no tengamos, faltemos, y si se pudiera justificar una ausencia, ¿cuántas más o menos son en, dentro del módulo? Tendrían que ser como dos faltas o tres. Como mínimo. Co ajá. Ok. Como Con justificación. Ah, porque, ajá, ahí, en ese caso tendrían que enviar también la justificación a, a ellos, ¿verdad? Los de Insafor, porque ellos son los que van, van viendo eso. Van evaluando. Ajá, ellos van evaluando eso. Lo de, lo de la asistencia, lo de las calificaciones. Ok. Uh -huh. Igual ellos son los que, que otorgan los permisos, ¿verdad? En el caso de que usted tenga una emergencia, entonces este, es de decirles a ellos, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el, el motivo? De okay. porque no se conectó, porque no se conectó, porque a veces eh, pues falla el internet, ¿verdad? Y no está en los man, en, en sus manos el, el poderse conectar. Pero al menos ellos ya saben, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál fue uh -huh. la razón? Uh -huh. okay. Hola, hola, Miss. Hey. Hola. Oh, hey, Kenia. <ríe> Kenia, you are there. Ok. No, Judy. 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 Ah, Judy. Judy. Ok, Judy. <ríe> Es que tengo problemas. Ah, con yes. El video, pero no sé si me Sí, el... pero sí, 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 le, le, le agregué a la lista, porque sí okay. vi que tenía problemas con el audio. Entonces, ok, sí. gracias. Yes. Gracias, mí. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we finished with section two. We'll continue with our next section three. And this one is very interesting because we are going to talk about different occupations and professions that you have. So the question here is, what do you do? ¿A qué te dedicas? That's what do you do? And now let's check. Here we have different professions and also occupations. For example, here we have Orlando Bloom. What does he do? He's an actor. Luis Miguel. What does he do? He's a singer. 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 Right. Then we have Jo John Sir, what does she do? Actress. Is she an actress? No. Musical. Possibly, right? But in musician. as we know, in she's a musician, name. right? Uh -huh. She's a musician. What about Martha? What does she do? Actress. An athlete. She's an athlete in general, athlete, right? But we know that there are different disciplines. In specific, she's a soccer player. 
But as we know, there are different occupations that you have other occupations. No Sorry, teacher, que yo no alcanzo a ver con el, con, porque del teléfono se ve pequeña la imagen. Sorry. Ah, ok. Let me see este if no. I can make it bigger. Vamos a ver si lo podemos hacer más grande. Sí, es que se, en el teléfono se ve bien pequeña la imagen, por eso no vi, no alcancé a ver ah, qué decía okay. arriba. Yes, I'm he's sorry. a musician. No, pero como hay algunas eh, ocupaciones que también tienen otras ocupaciones, ¿verdad? No solo se dedica uno a una cosa. You can be, for example, a, a soccer player, but maybe a soccer player is your hobby, but you have another profession or occupation. Maybe you're a chef, too. Hay cantantes case, que también son actores. Exactly, yes. Yes, probably he's an actor, he's a singer, he can be a chef. Why not? You can learn different disciplines. Okay. We have others here. Teacher. We have the first one. Tell me. Eh, solo me quedó una duda eh, de, de, la, de la parte anterior, que, de la pantalla anterior que estábamos viendo, de, los, de las características. How do you say Hogan's? Oh, Hogan's. Chosas. 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 Eh, es, eh, cuando, cuando, cuando tiene la S es plural, son chosas, ¿verdad? Exacto. If it's only one, Hogan. So you will say Hogan. like this, only one, a Hogan. Mm -hmm. So it's only one, only one a type of, of that house, right? Una chosa. But if it's plural, then you say Hogan's. Okay, thank you, miss. You're very welcome. Let's go then. Now we have the other professions and occupations, a teacher, a student, an architect, a musician, an athlete, an actor. Well, an actor, this is a general, general name, but if it's in the case, uh, in a specific for a woman, it's an actress, an actress. That's for the woman. If it's for the man, then it's an actor. So it's she and he, like here. She and he. She is an actress. He is an actor in the case of the men. Then we have an athlete, a musician, right? Then we have a flight attendant. What's a flight attendant? Aeromosa. Aeromosa, right? Now it has different names, right? It has different names. Aeromosa, sobrecargo, sobrecargo asistente de vuelo. It has different, azafata, they also call it, right? In Spanish, we have different manners. We also have a singer. I'm sorry. A banker. So if you work in a bank, let's say in customer service, and you help the people to open a bank account, to close the bank account. So you are a banker. Como ejecutivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Un banquero, un ejecutivo, los que abren las cuentas, las cierran, so all that, it's, it's a banker. An artist, there are many people, they like to paint, so they work with art. They play with the colors, with all different, so they have creativity of that. Now, let's mention other professions, please. Mention others, the ones you don't have here. What other professions can you mention? Uh -huh. Pilot. A mechanic. Pilot. Oh, a pilot. Very good. What else? Doctor. A doctor. Very good. Police officer. A police officer. Excellent. What else? Nurse. A nurse. Perfect. That's good. What else? Models. Models. Yeah, that's true. That's all the right professions and occupations. Now, let's see. We have the video here. We are going to watch it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One. He's a receptionist. Two. She's a doctor. Three. She's a nurse. Four. He's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. 
He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now what we saw there, we can include other activities. But let's say here. Let's complete the ideas. As we know here, we have different activities, but with the third person form, it depends on the professional that you have. For example, you have wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Do you have a question with these activities? No? Miss. Yes. Brian, I'm sorry? Yeah, miss, disculpe una pregunta. Brian, una pregunta. Hello? Elmer? Eh, miss, he had para conectarme. Entonces, oh, with the connection. Okay. Sí. <clears throat> sí, sí. Y no sé si ya va a y Yes, but I can write your name, Elmer. Ok, ¿lo sacaba de la plataforma? Sí, me sacó frecuentemente, entraba y salía. Mm, ok, voy a notificar eso entonces, mañana. Bueno, thank you, thank Alma. you, Miss. Thank you, thank you so much. Ok, Nevi, you were telling me about rights tickets, right? Yes, Escribe miss. tickets o, o boletos. So they write them. For example, when you are like an, in a movie theater, but ah. not necessary to write it by hand, not necessarily a mano, but you can write okay. it on the computer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Correct, those ones. What about where's a uniform? Where's a doctor. uniform? Right, yes, a, a doctor, it can be also a police officer, right? A police what? officer wears a uniform, yes. A student. A student wears a uniform, yes, that's true. A student. A a nurse, so a you chef. have wears a chef. a chef wears a uniform. A chef. 
Uh -huh, right? So a student wears a uniform. What else? But also you can include the places. Lugares. Aha, uh -huh, correct. A student studies at school. A school, at the university, at the academy, right? So we have different places that you can include here. What about if you include um, a receptionist? A receptionist? What can we connect? Words hard. Yes, receptionist. They have a hard work, right? All day. A Teacher. Yes, tell me. En, en el caso de, la, de, de las palabras en inglés, no existe una, ¿cómo se llama? Lo que nos, nosotros conocemos acá como, valga la redundancia, que estamos repitiendo lo mismo. No sé si me explico. Es like Porque redund redundant. Boletías. Redundar. Boletías. Redu Ajá. La redundancia. Que, por ejemplo, en la segunda que ha puesto, a student studies. Ajá. Es redundant. Redundant. Re ¿Cómo? Redundant. Redundant. Ajá, redundant. Es como Entonces, redundar. Ahí... Yes, here in some cases is necessary to include it. En algunos casos sí es, es bien necesario. A student studies at a school. Or you can also say to substitute. Spends time at school. So it can be two possibilities. Spends time is like pasatiempo en la escuela or studies at school because to substitute study mm -hmm. no hay otra palabra como para sustituir estudiar entonces así como lo había puesto está correcto o sea, it's se correct puede you can say it uh -huh. a student studies at school or okay. a student spends time at school or a student prepares at school yes, you can substitute too Prepares. That's another option. Prepares. At school. A receptionist works hard. What else? Give me another example, please. Sandra Guadalupe. Connect the ideas, please. Connect. You mentioned the professional and you can mention the place now. Mention a professional, maybe a nurse, a nurse works in a hospital, a lawyer works in an office. Talk to people in the office. Ah, that's good. Talk to people. Uh, security guard. Ah, a security guard. Yes. Wears a uniform. Wears a uniform. Um, in a hospital in a hospital okay works in a hospital oh yes that's true well uh, actually a security guard they can work in different companies right in different places at the mall they can work in a hospital in a police officer so they have different areas on the streets different areas what about Blanca give us another example please Hmm. Blanca, are you there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> este, el trabajo del electricista a uh, electric. ah, an electrician. Um, sería campo, sería. In a? In a camp, campo, es que como los electricistas andan afuera. Ah, uh, yes, oh. they work outdoors. An electrician works outdoors. Out, out. Outdoors, que es fuera, Out, ¿verdad? Uh, Trabajan uh -huh. fuera. Es trabajo, Correct. hacen trabajo de campo. Uh -huh. Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. Very good. An electrician works outdoors. Outdoors. That's right. Good one. Let's see. Glenda Guadalupe, give us another example, please. Another occupation or another profession. Glenda. Elmer, Elmer de Nilsson. 
Oh, no, sorry. He had problems with the audio. Yes, he said. Evelyn? Yes. Um, a banker handles oh. money. Excellent. Yes, a banker handles money. Handles money. That's correct. Thank you. Nice. Aaron, do you have a question? Uh, um, a chef. Right. A chef. Your works. profession, right? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> works hard. Works. works hard. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yes. It's, sometimes it's the whole day, right? The complete day. You sometimes sí. are in the kitchen, <laughs> yes. And a stance also, a stance all day because you have to be standing, right, in some cases. Right one, okay. Now we are going to repeat them. Repeat these sentences. Alba Marisol, sí. are you present? Yes. Telephone in kitchen. We have, a, ah, yes, thank you. You have, uh, let's write it here. Is otra palabra. Yes, quita cheng. <laughs> <laughs> we invented another one. Thank you. Okay, let's read it, please. Alba, right? We said Alba. No, it's not Alba there. Rebecca, Rebecca Vanessa, can you read the first one, please? A teacher works in a school. <clears throat> A teacher works in the school. Thank a you. teacher stands uh -huh. all day. Very good. Okay. A teacher stands all day. Well, in presential classes, right? But in virtual classes, it's necessary to be like a stance, right? It is sits. <laughs> Thank you. Sandra Margarita, continue, please. A student. A student wears a uniform. Thank you. Fernando. A student. Fernando de Jesus. A student spends time at school. At the school. Uh -huh. The other option is a student. A student studies at school. Or the other option, a student. A student studied at the school. Good. And the third option, a student prepares. A student prepares at the school. At the school. Thank you. Continue. Let's see, Rafael. Are you present, Rafael? Very present. Yes. All right. Let's see. A receptionist works hard. A receptionist works hard. Thank you. Let's see. Maybe continue, please. A security guard wears a uniform. A security guard wears a uniform. Thank you. Continue, Judy, please. An electrician works outdoors. Judy, the audio. We cannot listen. Problems with the audio. Yes, there is problem. Rosy le escribió en el, en el yes. WhatsApp. Hola, Miss, me escucha. Okay, now, yes, we can listen. Okay. Perdón, Finally, ¿cuál? go ahead. <laughs> Is the next one, an electrician. An electrician work, works outdoor. outdoors. Yes. Okay. Now, no light in Blanca's house. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. That's good. Let's continue, Juan Alberto, please. The next one, a banker handles money. A banker handles money. That's right. Thank you. Aaron, continue. Please. Yes, tell me. ¿Por qué an electrician? ¿Por qué esa N? Oh, because electrician starts with a vowel, porque empieza con una vocal. Oh. Uh -huh. It's like when you say an elephant. An uh, article. Y todas las que empiezan con vocales así van a ser. Um. Yes, but also depends on the sound, depende del sonido, porque a veces 
el sonido de la siguiente palabra no, no suena como una vocal, sino como una consonante. Como en el caso de la Y. Por ejemplo, cuando you say university, a university. Here there's no N. Aquí no hay N. Ahí no, ahí no colocamos N. Exactly. Porque la U acá no suena como vocal, sino como la consonante U. La Y. Ajá. Uh -huh. So I you. You don't say university. Say I university. university. You. Thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. Otra consulta. You're very welcome. En el, yes, tell me. En el caso por qué se coloca la A y so, no, no se coloca, por ejemplo, D. Ah, because this one is a general. Este nada más es como para generalizar el nombre. Pero si yo ah. quiero hablar, por ejemplo, acá, de el maestro o la maestra en específico, entonces utilizo el artículo the. Ah. Es para especificar. Okay. Pero acá nada más es general. Un maestro, un abogado, un oficial de la policía, un doctor, pero no sabemos cuál. Thank you, Miss. My pleasure. Any other question? No? All right. Let's continue with the next one. Aaron, then read the last one, please. A chef. Okay. A chef works hard in the kitchen. In the kitchen. That's all right. Good. Now, if you observe here, we have, with all of the verbs, you have S form. A teacher works. A teacher stands. A student wears, a student spends, a receptionist works, a security guard wears, an electrician works, a banker handles, a chef works. Why? Why with S? Do you remember? All of yes, the verbs, they contain third, the S. Solo es uno. It's only one. Excellent. It's a third person singular. So what are the three subjects with three person singular? He? Are. She is. He is. That's correct. He, she, and it. And in this case, you are only including one professional. So it's referring to one subject. But it's only with the simple present that this can occur. Questions? Si son, entonces, si son varios, eh, no sé, si se, le, quitamos, le quitamos la S al, al verbo. Excellent. You need to eliminate the S. And the letter A. For example, if you say eh, teachers. Teachers. Like this. Teachers work in a university. You can observe here that now you have plural. Eliminate A. Because the A is only for one. And the verb is in base form. Because now it's plural. Teachers work it's in plural. the university. Now it's plural form. It's like <laughs> if you substitute teachers, what is the subject pronoun that we can use? They. They, perfect. So it's they work they. in a university. Teachers work they in work. a university. Security guards uh, were... A uniform. Electricians work outdoor. Bankers handle money. At, uh, chefs work hard. So plural, base form of the verb. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Claro? Clear? Yes? Or no? Clear like the water, clear like Colón River, claro, como el río de Colón, like Colón River. <laughs> claro, como el agua. Like the water. <laughs> Any question about it? No question, Miss. No, Todo bien, Miss. Everything good? Tengo una consulta, Miss, yes, acerca me, de me. la plataforma. Tengo, bueno, una, una duda es. Te, ¿Ya no de... tuvo problemas para ingresar? No, no para nada. Ya... Okay. Fíjese Excelente. que ingreso desde, 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 ¿cómo le digo? Desde el enlace que usted me mandó. Ah, ok. Pero, porque no puedo entrar así nada más, pero sí hay ingreso okay. y sí trabajo, no okay. hay ningún problema. Yes. Pero tengo una duda con respecto a la, al, al ejercicio. De Linda. <risa> eh, really eh, allá me parecía que tenía que escribir. Y dice, 
eh, do is have, tenía que utilizar do is have y está en, en you, you. Entonces, me da, la, me da la impresión de que aquí, supuestamente, según en mi parecer, no era, no era do is, dos. Das. Ajá. Das. Correcto. Y entonces, y en el otro está yes, es donde, donde le contesta a Chris, yes. Is dos, ¿por qué is dos, Miss? Si y es das. correcto. Y das. If By, are, are... En el primero yo decía que era do, solo do. Y me da, no me la daba, me daba negativo, o sea, no me, da, me daba errar la respuesta. Entonces tengo que colocar das. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're talking about something. Si en la conversación están hablando de algo, de una cosa. Entonces, por eso es esta Correcto. Forma. Están yes, hablando that's... que, ajá, está, le está preguntando que en su casa hay muchos, muchas habitaciones o muchas recámaras. Eso mm -hmm. lo está preguntando. What number is it? ¿Qué número del ejercicio es? Ay, ahí me agarró en curva porque solo le tomé la <ríe> captura a donde decía Linda y Cris en la conversación nada más. Ah, ok. Do something. Send, send in in WhatsApp. Envíemelo en el WhatsApp para ver Muy cuál bien. ejercicio es y, y a ver. Cuál. Ajá, porque a mí me quedaba la duda esa, como le digo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, yo sé que she is, she, he, e it, it. Is the person. Creo Correcto. que te lo has tres, mismo. Ellos, vaya, en el caso de ellos, voy a ocupar das, ¿verdad? Pero en ellos. el caso de you. En el caso de ellos. Is no, 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 no. En el caso de esas tres personas, voy a ocupar oh, das. Oh, he said is das, correct. Correct, mm -hmm. es das. Pero ¿por qué arriba? Porque es and, we, mm -hmm. eh, you, they. Ahí no voy a ocupar mm -hmm. das, voy a ocupar do. Is do. Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué me, lo, you, da, me lo acepta y le coloco das y me lo acepta bueno? Really? Ese tendría que ver el ejercicio, tendría que verlo. Si gusta, lo voy a mandar a WhatsApp para revisarlo. Ajá, porque esa es la duda que tengo, porque mm -hmm. me tiende a confundir el hecho en que es, según es do. Por la estructura. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Ok, Yo vamos a verificar bien. eso. Porque a veces por el espaciado, recuerden que a veces por el espaciado también nos puede dar problema. Y por la puntuación. Porque yo estaba haciendo un ejercicio de hecho y daba una respuesta con there is and there are. Y en su respuesta, pues al terminar la oración, uno tiene que colocar el punto. Pero toda me la daba incorrecta. Entonces, tiene que eliminarle el punto. Al menos en, en mi caso, así me apareció. Tal vez a ustedes les aparezca diferente, pero gramaticalmente yes. tiene que poner punto al final de la oración o respuesta, pero me la daba incorrecta. Okay. Yes. En el vamos a verificar. Yes. De la Ajá. lección 2, me Ajá. dio problema también en. What exercise? Modes. Let me see. What exercise is? Um, is two points, what? ¿Qué, qué um, punto es? Recuerda. Creo que es el 2.12. 2.12. The last one. Es el último. This one. Sí. This one in the first one is there is, uh -huh. right? There is a porch with problema. a pink floor. Fíjese que aquí Me eso es lo que es. Uh -huh. Por el orden. Es por el orden. Porque no siempre se va a guiar como aquí me aparece como en un orden. Pero y abajo no están en desorden. Y aquí están en desorden. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es por eso. Y no le ponga y punto. Lo, y lo otro, que yo te, lo otro que yo encontré de diferente en eso, Miss, es que yo lo estaba, al principio lo estaba escribiendo. O sea, lo estaba transcribiendo lo que estaba leyendo de, de la respuesta de arriba al recuadro. Y, y después lo que hice fue mejor, eh, trans, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, seleccionar la palabra, las palabras con el cursor y co pegar y copiar de lo que está aquí Ajá. a la respuesta, a tra transcribirla al, al recuadro. Para y ahí me lo aceptó. Sí, uh -huh. porque muchas veces, no sé por qué, pero eh, no lo agarra. Bueno, en el caso mío, porque no lo estoy haciendo desde el, desde el teléfono, uh -huh. pero este, al principio sí me, me daba error y después... Eh, traté como de copiarlo y de pegarlo ahí mismo y me, me lo aceptó. Uh -huh. Sí, es, ese puede ser otro detalle, porque a veces quizás oh, no acepta como el tipo sí. de letra. Sí, porque a mí no me uh -huh. acepta eh, a good boarding stuff. Uh -huh. A good boarding stuff. O sea, ese va todas las eh, demás con me el las otro. Tira buenas. 
pero esa la coloco en esa y me la tira como error, no, no, no comprendo por qué, pero lo que dice Aaron será por la forma de escritura, Ajá. Ajá. Puede el ser tipo por el de tipo letra. de letra y también por el punto. No le voy a agregar punto y trate de que vaya justo la palabra. Si va a ir una palabra, por ejemplo, porch, que vaya cabalito iniciando desde el primer espacio, ¿verdad? que no tenga nada de espacio. Y luego, cuando empezamos con whip, que no lleve dos espacios, sino solo uno. Okay. Porque ahí es que nos puede dar problema. Y con el punto Sí. también, porque como ya nos da el punto acá en la plataforma, entonces uno dice, así ah, tengo Sí. que ponerle punto porque la oración termina con un punto. El fin de la oración, exacto. Ajá, entonces hay que probar ahí de diferentes maneras. Gracias. Thank you. Any other question, guys? Nothing, Miss. No? No. All right. We'll continue tomorrow then. Thank you very much. Have sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet Good dreams. night, teacher. Mejor de Have salud, a good me. night. I'm sorry? See you tomorrow. Así yo mejor de salud. Better. Uh -huh. Mucho mejor. Me tuve que inyectar. Ni modo. Solo me he sentido como un poco de, de la garganta, pero bastante mejor. Gracias a Dios, ya, ya mejor. En, en Walmart venden unos dulcitos de sorretone con jengibre. Esos son buenos, te los recomiendo. Solo ahí los venden, no los venden ni en la farmacia ni en ningún otro Ah, really? lugar. Sí, solo They ahí, are exclusive. pero... Ah, sí, pero, pero son buenísimos, Pero <laughs> buenísimos, son mejor, buenísimos. mejor que las gargantinas. Sí, súper En mejor. serio. Sí. Ay, thank you for Sí. the recommendation. Muy bien, mi sorritone. Ok, thank you Y so el much. viernes, un tequilita doble con un poquito de limón. No voy a dar clase el siguiente día, my God. Y sí, después de la clase, Miss. Ya, No me decidías. niño, para hacer más el partido de Marisa, todo, ¿verdad? bad influence. You are bad influencia. Por, por experiencia de mi abuelo lo digo. Ah, yeah. You know, the chef. Los chefs están en combinación, pero también, ¿verdad? Aaron, me han contado qué remedio. Ah, yes, me han contado. No, mi abuelo, I don't mi abuelo, know. mi abuelo así se, cura la, así se curaba la gripe, mi abuelo. Así dicen que con tequila. Y los malestares. But no. Comprobadísimo. Es <laughs> proof, comprobado. It's a good proof. Ya, ya. <laughs> Thank All you, right, guys. Miss. Thank Good you so night. much. Good Happy night, Miss. Miss. I'll Bye see bye. you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Dreams with the Sweet angels. dreams. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Good Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Take care.